So email is a hassle. You don't get excited to check your email each day. The only reason why you go onto your phone every 20 minutes to check your email is to make sure it's something manageable where you can manage that massive influx of digital content that's coming into your inbox because every single marketer and every single person out there has you on their drip campaign or their newsletter system and the real conversations in your inbox are only 10% of what you're actually getting each and every day. There's been so many email systems that have been out that uh, companies have released or smaller companies you know, release something new and exciting that claim they will change the way that you are receiving email. And there's been some pretty cool programs out there. You know, I've been using Mailbox and I moved over to Boxer and, and a lot of other systems claiming to change the way that you use email. Uh, but when Google claims to have a new system to change the way you use email, that's where it gets pretty interesting, right? So Google just released a brand new program called Google Inbox. And right now it's in a beta invite only. I happen to actually have an invite and I have the system and I just got it today right now. Uh, so I haven't had that much time to play with it. But I want to give you just a few thoughts uh, on Google Inbox and show you what it looks like to see if it might be of something that uh, you think might benefit you. First, let's start off with the website on where you can request your beta for Google's new email system. And when I mean system, it's not a new address. It's a way of checking and managing your email. Uh, and I want to first give you that address of where you should go to sign up. And if you go to google.com slash inbox, and you should be able to see the screen right here. This is what it's going to look like for you. Google.com slash inbox. It'll play a fancy little graphic there. Uh, tell you it's by Gmail, of course. And, and this is Google's take on the massive amount of digital communication that we receive each and every day. If you are a Gmail user and you have your other accounts going into Gmail, you, you probably noticed that quite some time ago, uh, Gmail separated your email into groups and some people loved it and some people hated it. Well, this is the next iteration of that feature. So if you don't like your emails being separated into social folders and, and into updates and promo folders and things like that, then you're probably not going to like this. But what's really interesting right off the bat uh, what I noticed about using these applications, and I'm going to jump in live and I'll show you what it looks like on my mobile phone and what it looks like on the desktop, is you can actually take a lot of actions from the emails. And you can schedule emails. You can pin emails. It turns email into much more of a to-do. And it gets rid, a lot of the, gets rid of a lot of the noise and the junk that you see on a daily basis when trying to manage uh, your daily inbox. So there's a lot of neat features. And I'm just flipping through some of these. You guys can flip through this website on your own. So I'm not going to waste your time in showing you this. So what I will show you is the mobile version of Inbox as well as the desktop version of Inbox. So here's what it looks like on your mobile device. You'll see the Inbox app in the lower right-hand corner. You also see a lot of emails that I need to go through here. And if I touch the Inbox app, it's going to immediately load me into the system. You know what I actually didn't like and what bothered me about the Gmail app before is when you hit the Gmail app, it would sit there and it would flip and load for, for five seconds while telling you you're going into Gmail. And the first thing I like over and above the old Gmail app right now on this one is when you hit the app, it actually goes into the app. Those five seconds are actually crucial. And as you can see, the inbox looks a little bit different. It breaks it down into different categories. You can see a lot of those categories on my screen right here from social to updates, just like you'll see. Uh, but all the, all the emails that have to do with social media are grouped into that social category and I can go into each individual one. But what I find is really interesting is there's a lot of emails that actually require an action. And you can see that I, obviously I travel a lot and I have 25 plus emails in the travel category. By the way, I didn't have to manually do that on my own. It automatically sorted and put them into the travel category. And on one of the emails, I can check into my flight that's tomorrow, 245. I can just hit the check-in button and I can actually go through the check-in process directly from that email and directly from that button on my screen, which is pretty cool. I don't want you guys seeing my, uh, my, my flight number, my itineraries and everything here, so I'll just back out of that right now. But you can see the other categories on the screen here as well. Now what's really neat about it is there's a number of other actions that you can take here too. 
I can swipe, and you know Mailbox, if you've been a Mailbox user, you're probably familiar with uh, the swiping action, and this is just an easy way to mark things done or to set a timer or a reminder to do something. And this was an email I just tested just to see how it, how it would work, and I set a reminder for this email for a couple minutes from now, and it sent a push notification directly to my phone. So my phone beeped, it sent a push notification, and I could touch that notification and it takes me right to that email. So just by swiping here, I can set easy reminders, pick a date and a time. I can even pick a place of when I want my phone to remind me to do something. So it uses geofencing and geolocation here, and I can pick locations there, not just a time. So it makes it easy to create to-dos off of your email. Uh, but the idea behind Inbox is to actually either mark things finished or snooze them and, and create a to-do and to get them out of your inbox. That's the whole point. So if I were to go in, and I'm going to go into an, an email that, uh, that doesn't have personal information, just, <laughs> just for my sake here, um, you can see the number of, or a couple of options that we have up on the top. The pin button is highlighted because I snoozed it, so it pinned that activity. And I'll show you how you can see all your pinned activities in a moment. We have the, uh, the snooze button, which allows me to choose a date and time, which I would like to actually complete this task or complete this email. Um, I can put this email into a particular folder by hitting the dot 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 button on the side or the final option is I can just mark this baby is done. And when I mark that baby is done it gets it right out of my inbox and allows me to get to the next activity. So I responded to Michael here, I'm done with this one too, I can just swipe get that one off the screen. It kind of gives you some contextual coaching as you walk through and tells you, hey, it's going to be in your done category. So I can always go in and even though it's not in my inbox, I can always find these activities in the done category as you can see over here. Uh, it's pretty easy to get to that. So again, I've only been using this for a couple of minutes. So I don't want to ramble on about features that I'm not really that familiar with, and that's what it seems like I'm doing so far. So I'm going to end it uh, with this and actually in one last feature. The pin button. If you have something that you want to keep on the top of your screen, you can pin these activities and it will appear there and you can easily swap back and forth from your pinned, uh, pinned emails or pinned activities and your other emails. So I think that's a pretty cool feature. But in a nutshell, what they're trying to do is simplify your email, group similar emails together, allow you to get rid of a lot of emails at the same time, um, and allow you to assign tasks and activities. And it works exactly the same on your desktop because you can actually log into the web-based version on your desktop and all of your activities are here the same way I just saw it on my mobile phone. So I'm going to give you an update in a couple of weeks after using this program for a couple of weeks. Again, if you want to sign up for the beta, you go to google.com slash inbox and you can check out uh, the beta or sign up for that beta there and see if it might be right for you. Uh, look for my post a few weeks from now and I'll tell you what I think of this application.